Hi, welcome to this part. This is part 32. Okay. Now there is a previous part, part 31, that is only available for members only. So in between, I will be posting contents which are only available to members. So please click the join button. So this join button, if you click it, it will help you to stay tuned to a lot of contents. So these are very special contents which will help you clear the certification exam with ease and it will help you focus on the concepts. Please hit the subscribe and the like button and do not forget to join this channel. There is a small premium but with that premium you will get a lot of value added questions and concepts. Now let us jump to this question which AWS service enables you to swiftly conduct one time queries on S3 data. See always remember whenever we have such questions thumb rule is Athena because using Athena you can connect. So a lot of time even when we are using QuickSight as a reporting tool we use Athena in between to connect to S3 data. What is Athena? So Athena is something which will help you start curing data instantly and you just get the results in seconds. It is a pay only service. Okay, You only pay for the queries you run and it is serverless so no ETL is required easy to connect and then it is built on Presto. This is very important. It is built on a Presto network so it runs standard SQL and it is fast really fast. How it works is you have Athena in between, you have these many source systems, Athena is in between and you can plug your BI applications, you can plug your ML tools because what does BI application do? What does ML tools do? They fire queries and it is very important to use Athena because the queries might be diverted to S3 buckets like here where you have the data mesh or it may be a pure RDBMS database like the operational database here. Or it may be a data warehouse like Redshift or Snowflake. So Athena will shield that for you. You just fire your queries without worrying about can my query run on Athena or can I my query run on S3? Can I fire queries on big data data sets? You should not worry about those things. Athena will do it for you. See, these are the customers who are already using Athena. Okay. And then these are the partner services available. So in a nutshell, Athena is the answer here because it will help you fire one-time queries on S3 data. But let us look at other options. So one service you have is EMR. You know EMR is like Mercedes-Benz, very costly. And it is primarily used for firing queries on big data platforms where you can uh, run Spark, Hive, Presto and other big data workloads. Does the question talk about big data? It is not talking about big data, right? It is, though the question is not clear as to on S3 data, what do they mean? But they are not talking about big data. We will limit our thoughts and we will not use EMR. Now, option B talks about DynamoDB. So, one thing you should remember is DynamoDB is a NoSQL database. So, there is no question of firing standard SQL queries. There are separate set of queries that we fire here, but it is not called SQL. SQL query. So DynamoDB is totally out of context. And third thing we have is Redshift. See, Redshift is a database. It's a data warehouse. You can create external tables which points to data on S3 buckets. You can do that, but it is not used for one-time firing of the queries. For example, if you have a BI like Quick Site, so you cannot use Redshift in between and then fire queries on S3. That will be very expensive. Again, Redshift is also, even though it is not like Mercedes Benz, but it is similar to, I would say, Lexus. Okay. So this is also wrong. So Athena is my final answer. So here, uh, which AWS service of functionality involves implementation of ISP and co-location facility? See, implementation of internet service provider, when do you do? When you are using Direct Connect. Okay. See, with VPN, you are already making use of the existing internet connection that you have. So you don't have to worry about, you know, setting up or implementing a new ISP and a co-location facility. You don't have to worry about that. So that is why I would say VPN will not work because it is not about co-location and it is already using your existing internet service. Now, connect. Connect is wrong because it is used to connect to AWS support agents and managers. So in this question, we are not talking about agents and managers here. So that is totally wrong. Internet gateway, this is also wrong. Why? Because internet gateway is used to co uh, connect to the internet. Okay. 
it is a separate service for example you have ec2 instances and you want to connect it connect them to the internet you can use internet gateway so that just leaves us with aws direct connect this is my answer why because with aws direct connect you are actually searching for a internet service provider and you are laying down the actual physical big big cables between your office and the data center of aws so this is my answer so we will lock this and move forward See if you have a large monolithic application what does monolithic mean suppose in your family you just have one earning member and that is your father but something bad happens to your father then your entire family will be screwed up and may not be able to survive long if the savings are not pretty high that is monolithic your father is a monolithic application just like a monolithic application that is single point of failures you don't want single point of failures right then what happens your mother also starts working so there is no single point of failure that is what in the application design i'm giving this in a very uh, probably in the raw and a crude manner but I'm, i just want you to relate of what, what we mean by monolithic because many times people don't understand what is monolithic so that is what i explained now uh, what we try to do is monolithic means uh, in order to solve this problem we will what will we do we want to choose two answers the first is manual monitoring manual monitoring means you keep monitoring your father whether he is safe or not but that is not an answer okay so this is totally wrong so this is wrong now the option b says use fixed hours now fixed hours will again make it monolithic because what you are saying is fixed hours i mean your father will be fixed he is the only one who is designated to earn the money so that is that will not work okay because that is single point of failure implement loose coupling loose coupling means now your father is earning maybe your elder brother also starts earning your elder sister also starts earning so that is loose coupling now there is no single point of failure if there is a single point of failure suppose someone loses the job then other person can still support it so c is the right answer we will mark this correct d says we will rely on individual components so individual components rely on I mean, what do you mean by relying on individual competence? Like rely rely on your uh, brother, sister, etc., who are not earning. That relying will not help. No, they are not the one who are calling the shots or who are earning the money. So that relying will not help you. So this is also wrong. That leaves us just with one last option, and we have to choose two answers. So that should be my answer. So what does is it design for scalability? Scalability means now one person is earning, you scale up. Now two person will be earning, or three persons will be earning. That will solve the problem. And there will be no single point of failure, and that will not be monolithic in design. So these are my two answers. So my friends, go to Google, search on AWS Well Architected Framework, and please have a read. This will help you understand what are the best practices. So this is where we say reliability, sustainability, cost optimization, security. These are the different pillars. Please have a read. This is very important to understand how. well you should design these applications so that all these principles have been taken care of please hit the subscribe and the like button do not forget to click the join button there is a small subscription but you will be getting a lot of value added services like more questions access to more questions more concepts clearing and so on so this brings us to the end of part 32 remember some of the parts will be only available for members So part 31 is one of those things which are only available to members so please hit the join button to become member see you in the next part